We're gonna keep things moving right along here. Our amateur main event, Justin Patton, two and two, taking on, as we just saw Dion Goodlow mentioned, James Brown here. Featherweight fighters and Jake Digman is gonna bring these guys out. The following contest is an amateur bout in the Pinnacle FC featherweight division, and it is brought to you by Little Bruisers. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle into the blue corner, please welcome James Brown. James Brown, two and two, 33 years old here, making his Pinnacle FC debut. Has fought exclusively in Ohio. Actually, is for, he's from uh, Pennsylvania, but has he fought exclusively in Ohio. First time getting to fight in his home state, as he actually has faced the guy that his opponent or his teammate just defeated, Cortland Woodard. He was submitted by Woodard in his last outing. Yeah, you see a lot of the uh, Pennsylvania fighters make that transition across the border. Ohio has a little bit different rules for the amateurs, and some guys like to take advantage of that. But yeah, it's going to be fun to see a guy finally get a fight here back in his home state. Right, and Brown does a lot of cross training. You see him at Penn Hills MMA, also does some training at Mad Dog Fight Team and out of the cage here in the Steel City. Another guy who's, who likes to throw hands, well-rounded guy, but Patton, as we mentioned, likes to strike, and we saw the last guy, Goodlow, said he was gonna strike with Corlin Woodard, but that all changed as soon as the bell rang. Yeah, and Justin Patton coming off of a win recently. And, uh, you know, he said he's going to be looking to try to get, get his striking set up early, get it set up often, and, and really try to take advantage of his uh, his, his recent increases, uh, or I'm sorry, his, his recent improvements in strike. And his opponent making his way down the aisle into the red corner. Please welcome Justin Patton. Justin Patton, another young guy out of Fight Club Pittsburgh. Just 21 years old, two wins, two losses, and actually his last fight was a very big fight, a victory, a submission victory over Jonathan Kaufman, a guy who kind of dominates a lot of the, the amateur or the grappling circuit around Western Pennsylvania, and Justin Patton was actually able to submit him with a rear naked choke in the third round, so a big feather in the cap of the young Justin Patton. Yeah, young guy, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt, so he... He's comfortable on the ground, too. He's comfortable striking. He's a great little fighter. An another name that you'll want to kind of keep your eye on or write it down and save it for later because he's going to be around for a while. We take a look at the tail of the tape, Jesse. What stands out to you in this one? Well, definitely age is going to play a factor here. I, trust me for being in the over 30 bracket. When you start messing around with the younger guys, they've got a different set of energy. You've got a different bit of man strength, too, that can play in, but definitely the uh, the youth might, might be a, an advantage here for Justin Patton. Right, and also Patton mentioned, he said, I'm normally a bantamweight, very, very tall guy, whether it's 135 pounds or 145 pounds, but a tall, lanky guy. And we saw him in his last fight at Pinnacle FC 11 back in August, put on a three-round striking battle with Brian Hauser in the fight of the night. Yeah, and that one was just incredible. I believe that was the opening fight of the night, and all you saw was just fists of fury all over the place. It was exciting. And I'm looking for more of the same in this fight and as well. And you see Pinnacle FC matchmakers have a lot of confidence in this guy going from first fight of the night to amateur main event over the span of one event. And Jake Digman is going to give us our official introductions here. The following contest is an amateur bout in the Pinnacle FC featherweight division. And it is brought to you by Little Bruisers. Introducing first in the blue corner, he fights out of Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 144 pounds, representing more MMA with an MMA record. Two wins, two losses. Please welcome James Brown. His opponent in the red corner, he fights out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 144 pounds, representing Fight Club Pittsburgh and Pridelands BJJ with an MMA record. Two wins, two losses. Please welcome Justin Patton. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds when the action begins. Your referee is Mr. Chip Snyder. Three three-minute rounds here in the featherweight division. James Brown in the black, Justin Patton in the red, Chip Snyder is your third man in the cage. We are set to go, Jesse. Amateur main event here. 
and with the glove touch. Patton said he's going to try to start off working some angles, so we'll see if that could work out for him. But so far, Lord have mercy, Brown coming out hard. Yeah, huge. Lots of energy. Knee looks like dropped Justin Patton there. That almost looked like it was to the face. Big shots and Justin Patton is out. Chip Snyder finished. Chip Snyder pulls him up and James Brown's not done fighting. Looked like Patton briefly was. His eyes did roll into the back of his head there. He recovered quickly. Nevertheless, though, he was out. Yeah, that was just a brutal, vulgar display of power there from James Brown. I, I mentioned that Justin Pat was going to look to set up some angles, but here's I don't think the, he got the chance. Here's the replay as we take a look. Uppercuts here from... That was it. Yeah, the big right hand there, and now you see the big shots. Yeah. Patton looking to survive here on the ground, but you see the big shots, and that's the one that put him out. And then he woke back up, mouthpiece knocked out, Tip Snyder pulls him off, and that's the end of the fight. Yeah, and I believe that one may have even put him out on his feet for a minute. You know, sometimes that'll happen. You hit the ground and you wake, wake back up and kind of remember that you were in a fight. But well, I think we just need to call it what it is. That, that overhand right landed on the chin. It put him on Queer Street. James Brown picking up a big win here, three and two. I mean, if, if I'm a fighter, that's how I want to go into Thanksgiving the next day with that sort of a win. I mean, he came into a Maybe no damage at all. If, if anything, it was minimal, but you came out with a nice big knockout win. And Jake Digman is going to give us the official result here. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chip Snyder calls a stop to the action at 19 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, James Brown! Okay, I'm here with the winner, James Brown, from Moore MMA. James, one question everyone, everybody wants to know. Do you feel good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, you came out. You were fighting with, as Diego Sanchez would say, La Raza. I don't know if you didn't like the way that he, maybe you felt disrespected at weigh-ins last night, but, man, you came out here and threw with fury. Great job. How you feel? I feel good. Thank you. Thank you for my opponent. He's a great guy. Thank you for all y'all coming out. I don't know. From Rankin, PA, representing more MMA. Oh, Wilkinsburg, PA. It's not the same thing. James Moore, James Brown, 